hello and welcome back to the channel we're here in newcastle so we've made it to newcastle it's friday night um the run is obviously on sunday but we always come up on the friday spend the weekend here travel back after the great north run so uh, in the past we've done the 5k race which is tonight in about a couple of hours the elite race is in about half an hour so we're going to head down in about five minutes and go watch the elite race i'll film a bit of that um but we're not doing the 5k race this year i've done it i've only actually done it once stuart's done it twice i had a place for last year but for those that have watched my channel or followed my instagram um in the past you'll know that last year four days four days before the great north run um some idiot wasn't paying attention and crashed into the back of my car while i was stationary and he was going 70 miles an hour wrote off my car and nearly stopped me doing Great North Run. I did do Great North Run. I had to run walk it because I wasn't, I was okay. I went to hospital, but I was okay. They, I think they said I was okay because my car was huge um, and sort of protected me and his car was tiny. So um, yeah, it just meant that it was a run walk Great North last year. Still did it in about two hours 30, but because of the concussion I suffered, I was getting like dizzy spells and stuff. So. Uh, it sort of, yeah, put a bit of a downer on it. But I still loved Great North last year. But it meant I couldn't do the 5K and I pretty much walked Park Run. But I was determined to still do Great North. But Stuart did the 5K last year. Um, but he just didn't fancy it this year. It's quite an expensive 5K. Is it like 30 quid or something? Something like that. Quite expensive. So we're going to go support a couple of our friends doing it. Um, and like I say, the elites are racing. And men are racing at... No, women are racing at five, men are racing at 20 past. They do it in ridiculous time with a winner winning like over a grand. So I'll get some footage of that. Stuart's just chilling. There we go, a cup of tea. Hello. Life of luxury. Um, and then, yeah, we'll do a Great North video. We're doing Parkrun tomorrow. We're doing Rising Sun. But I think we're going to do a separate uh, Parkrun video then. So, yeah, we're going to head out and I'll get some footage for you. So we've just packed up and we're currently missing the elite race because a 20 minute journey has taken us over 40 minutes. I have zero patience for traffic. Just drive. I just can't deal with it. I know it's not as simple as that, but it does annoy me that we just, people dilly daddle, just drive. So my little rant over, look, yay, time bridge. The elite race is down there, you can see it, but sadly the women will have already finished and the men will probably finish before we get there. But it is what it is. <sighs> but yeah, now I can just relax and enjoy the rest of the evening. The men race is ongoing, so we have just seen them set off so we can see the men finishing. We're just at the barriers now, watching it. So it's three laps, so they're just going on to their second lap now. Uh, Callow Quackery won the females in 15 first five. Oh, <gasps> it's Claire. Oh, I'd be scared on the bike. Oh. Ah. Come on! <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Look at the speed of these. We're here watching the Mass 5K now. We've got a good spot. We're on like a little bench, so you can. Uh, I'll swizzle the camera around, and you can see a good spot. We can see right at the finish. The so Stuart's like, don't fall off the bench because I just stepped back and forgot I was on a bench. So yeah, I don't want to injure myself for someday. But yeah, watch this now. 2,000 plus runners in here. They come, everybody. The first ones on their way in. Keyside, do your magic. And it is Tokyo Olympic Cross Tattoos leading them home. Brilliant run from Tomo. I know he's struggling with a bit of illness recently, but Tomo's moved around the field to become the 
Timing coming on in now officially at 22 minutes. Just over 22 minutes officially, uh, officially finishing on the time. It's just Craig Davidson. Morning. We had a really good night last night watching the Elite 5K and the normal 5K as well. Um, we briefly met Chris Thompson, the Olympian, uh, because he was warming up and then the volunteer was like shouting at him saying it was the elite only zone. And he was like, I am an elite. And uh, me and Stuart like joked like, we recognise you. And he, he just sort of like said hi and stuff, but I am kicking myself that I didn't get a picture. But one of those things, he was like in the warm, in the zone warming up. So I hate to like pester sometimes. So yeah, it was really good fun watching it last night. Um, some rapid runners in sort of the normal 5k as well. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, Stuart's just headed off to run to park run. We will be doing a separate park run video, so make sure you look out for that. Um, so yeah, just last night, watched 5k and then went out for tea. Um, ate too much rich food. I never learn, you know, I got home last night and I was like, I was like, I feel so poorly. I still feel a bit poorly this morning. I never learn with my bloody IBS belly, but um, I mean, once I get started at parkour and stuff, it will pass, but yes. So yeah, make sure you check out the parkour video and I'll probably catch up with you later on this video. Good morning, it's Great North Run Day. We're leaving in about 10 minutes to pack up a South Shields. And then we're going to get the bus from South Shields to Town Moor. Uh, that way when we finish, we're, our car is there. So we've always done that for the past, well, five years. Because that's how long I've done it. So, yeah, we're setting up in about ten minutes. I'm just trying to force breakfast down me, which is difficult. I'm not a breakfast person. So it seems like this morning hour has gone really quick. Stuart's been out for a two-mile warm-up run. He's very proactive. I'm not proactive. Um, but yes, race number is on. I'll turn it round. Flash your race number. Sorry, Stuart's just like mid porridge eating. I think the camera just. There we go. Apologies for the messy room. We're like mid pack. So yeah, um, probably catch you more now at the finish line because it's a bit um, hectic. Hectic, yeah. But um, oh, what I forgot to mention quickly because I do need to eat my breakfast quickly. Um, at the Great North 5K. Um, when we were just casually watching, this lady was like, it's Danny Runs! Um, and I kicked myself because I didn't get the um, names of them both. But obviously, shout out to them both because they came over and they said they really loved the channel. They found me really real and relatable and it helped that lady get into running. Stuart's laughing because he knows what I'm going to say in a minute. Um, which was really, really nice. And then they were like, you've changed your channel. And I was like, oh yeah, we've combined it. And they were like, well, we don't want Stuart on it. They were like, we don't want Speedy on it. We like you. <laughs> Obviously they were only joking, but it was funny. I enjoyed it Not because of, allowed. yeah, no fast people allowed. Cause I am real. <laughs> no, it was really lovely. So thanks guys. I'm really sorry. I didn't catch your name. It was just like really busy and stuff, but because we were just chatting, I said to Stuart after, I was like, I wish I got their names cause they were so lovely. Anyway, they're running great enough today. So good luck guys. Um, and yeah, I'll see you at see you soon. Yeah, we're here today getting ready. Hello. You've seen how busy it is. Oh my god. <laughs> is that to get in? Yeah. Where's your way? I think I have to go through here. Oh my god. He's off! Doodle. Good luck! Bye. Going through the pink wave. Alright, uh, enjoy! Enjoy, mate. <laughs> oh, flip. He's running off. There's Stuart right on the uh, start line. There's Liz going down sideways. indeed in world sport, never mind the northeast of England. A fabulous event that gets bigger and better every year. This is miserable and Stuart's already four miles in and we haven't actually started yet. We're nearly at the start line. It's really raining, it's horrible. Still got my like throwaway top on. We're off. 
I didn't film the start line because I was a bit worried about tripping. It was really, really busy. Rain is horrible, but just covered now. So yeah, heading towards our one. For four and a half miles, I have not really filmed. It's been pouring down, and now it's stopped raining. I actually feel worse. I'm drenched, absolutely drenched. So yeah, coming up, kind down to four miles now. And that's all that's left. So crazy. I'll try to get some filming done while it's dry. I'm done. I didn't really film because it was. So from the last mile it was ridiculously busy and I was getting elbowed and stuff it, it's just the way it is because it's so busy around but I'm busy. I just can't I just can't believe I've just done two hours twenty three which doesn't mean but it's so slow and to be believe it's fast but you know my PB is two eleven and like, I just feel like I've lost like so much confidence with my running and I just didn't expect this today. I'm so happy. I just can't believe it. I can't believe I have that in my, my legs and I saw sort of mile nine. I was like gone and running so well today. And then I saw a friend and she was like, wow, you're running really well. And I was like, I am. But I'm starting to get in my head now because I'm running well. So I had a couple of crazy miles like just steady off because uh, physically I was great but mentally I, I started to lose it and I, I needed to keep strong and enjoy it um, and then that last battle I just like hammered it through but it was busy so it was quite hard um, and I'm so soaking wet I think as well like the rain stopped around mile nine for me and my t-shirt or my vest is really heavy in my feet so but I just like I wasn't expecting it I said to Stuart I'd be really happy with it so you know 230 and it's like yeah, no, it's, I'm not even a PB you mean so much now sorry I'll stop crying and go get my medal now I just can't believe I'm running today I need to stop crying and be happy. Well, I am happy, but it's, it's happy tears. But people are looking at me because I'm like, is she happy or is she sad? But yeah, time to get some water. Thank you! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I found Stuart, but when I found him, his, his mouth was blue. <laughs> It's so cold. <laughs> yeah, it's so cold. But yeah, how did you get on? Uh, I did it in 171.24. So that's obviously championship spot for London next year, yeah. which is really exciting. You were about what, 19 seconds off the PB? 19 seconds. That is so good. Um, Stuart prefers like really hot runs to rainy runs, whereas today people sort of prefer this. But I didn't mind the rain, but about mile nine to ten is when it stopped raining and then all I could feel was wet and heavy so then it was um it felt worse my feet and everything I just started seizing up when I finished because I changed my top obviously I've got wet shorts on wet bra wet feet wet everything Stuart's just Finishing so top. so cold my finisher stops wet as well yeah because Stuart no man top look at your little blue lips yours is blue as well oh well but yeah we'll probably might do a bit of a better finishing video because yeah, yes. it's a bit chaos just, now just yeah so what we'll do is we'll do a proper rundown As but yeah we just wanted to get it while we're avoiding the 60,000 people have also oh yeah what i'll quickly say is at the minute like when i last checked the results stuart finished well i say at the minute it probably was not going to change stuart finished 79th out of six thousand sixty thousand people 79th that is insane. Top 100, top 80. That is incredible. Yeah. 
So, yeah, yeah, we'll take it, yeah. <laughs> we are home. It's like, well, it's quarter past seven. We stopped off at the services. What do you do there? What? I thought you like <laughs> twitched or something. I checked the time. Oh. <laughs> Um, we stopped up services and got some food and everything, but God, we are tired. It's been a long day. Um, but yeah, got changed at the services. I was really cold. Well, we were both. Stuart was blue. He was actually, his lips and face was blue. Um, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't get much filming actually of the race because the rain was so bad. I was a bit worried about the incident. It is waterproof, but this was like torrential. Um, so I did get a tiny bit, um, of it but yeah not not as much as i originally planned um normally every year it's boiling hot i'm just watching ghosts like keep the pillows on the floor um normally it's boiling hot but this year oh my god it was torrential my hair is actually one big mat so we've just got home and i'm gonna go we're gonna go get a shower but i'll twist it around and show you a t-shirt stuart couldn't wear his t-shirt because he put it on and then was soaked waiting for me but here is the t-shirt. Actually, probably one of the nicer t-shirts we've had in a long time. So it's a blue. It's a bit dark in here with red. Last year, I think it was last year that this was red. But I didn't, I am not, I don't wear, I don't really like red. So I sent it straight to charity. And here is the medal. It's quite nice, actually. I quite like it. The GNR medals are quite nice, to be fair. Um, it's the t-shirts that are a bit questionable. Look, Gerst has come to join us. He's missed us. My dad dropped the dogs off for us, so when we got home, they were already here. <laughs> He's licking. Um, but I, I don't think we have much more to add, really, do we? No. Other than, oh, someone no. recognised me en route of Great North, but from TikTok. They were like, we, I follow you on TikTok. Um, I'm fairly new to TikTok. Um, I'm still sort of getting the hang of it, but I've sort of been trying to do videos and build it up a little bit, like my Instagram and stuff. So it's it's going okay. I don't have, enough fo I don't have as many followers like I do on Instagram. I've uh, quite a few on Instagram compared to like the channel and um, TikTok. But yeah, so obviously someone recognised me. It was really nice. Uh, and shout out to her who's just like, Danny runs it, which was really nice. Because um, at that point it was like the big hill and I was like suffering. But we both really enjoyed it. You enjoyed it, didn't you? Yeah. Stuart's, Stuart's tired and ready to have a cup of tea and chill. And so am I, to be fair. I'm ready for a shower and to chill. Um, but other than that, yeah, it was a really good day. I will say that, like I say every year for Great North, there's not enough toilets. That goes to space, isn't it? There is not enough toilets for 60,000 runners. It was crazy again. So I had to do the usual of nip into a bush before. It was better. You think it was better? It was... We queued for 20 minutes. There was more toilets this year. There was, there? but there's not enough. But also, me, mere mortals, not these sub-elites people... Um, normally you can access the orange wave both sides but they did it to the left side now so it was really really busy to get in and it was really muddy and it was really slippy as well so um it's just it's what it used to, be used to but then they opened it up for both sides and it was better and then when we got into the orange wave someone had broke down a fence anyway so everyone was infilling the pinks who finished last were infilling anyway so it was like nearly like a human crush it was a bit crazy like once we got going it was fine but i found this year the busiest i've ever found it um i got elbowed a few times and it's just really difficult i always try to stay to the side um because like i sort of go a bit up and down with my breathing and stuff i always stay to the side because i never know what sort of pace i'm gonna do but i did a decent pace for me today decent um but even then, you know, I I was having to weave to take over people and then other people were sort of, it was, it's just really busy. I mean, I loved Great North Run, but it is just the start and the whole start situation I hate, everything else I love. But yeah, I don't think we have much more to add apart from my little rant. But other than that, I do love Great North Run and I, obviously I've got two more years on my membership. So we'll be back next year and the year after. Stuart will probably do it next year. Just apply for it. Fast yeah, he'll first. just apply for another fast player, so she do. Um, but Stuart's probably will do London Marathon now. He's got his championship spot. He's still unsure, but he thinks he should do it. Last time he got his, last time he got a time to qualify him for the championship spot, he didn't take it up um, because it was. Was it because we were doing Chicago? 
Yeah, Chicago was in the same year. No, Berlin. That that was it because Berlin and London were back to back in the not the October at this point. It would mean going straight back into it, wouldn't it? Because yes, then means... London was back in April, which is probably what he's going to do now. But obviously we did back-to-back marathons then because we did them a week apart. We did Berlin to London. Because um, I I was at, it was a bit mad because I'd tried for 12 years in the London Marathon ballot and the year I got the ballot was the year it landed a week after Berlin. Um, so, <laughs> typical. So then she um, got a good fridge spot to do it. So then we both didn't, well, we did it together, but not together. Yes. Um, did it this year. And then obviously I did it this year because I got the club place. Um, so yeah, it went from never doing London to doing London twice in like a year. So yeah, but yeah, I think Stuart should do it for championship. I'd quite like to just support. I'm not doing London next year, so I will be supporting. But I've supported London a few times for friends and stuff. And we were going, we're going anyway to support a couple of our friends doing it. So we're there anyway. So Stuart's like, well, we're there anyway. So we'll see. That might be all to come. Yeah. But other than that, I think that's it. Have you got anything to add? I don't think so. You just want a cup of tea, don't you? Stuart's done. Right, okay then. Right, make sure you look out for our Rising Sun video. And then it'll be Humber Coastal. And then Humber Bridge Half. Yes. Got a busy September. I've done my first half marathon for the year. No, no. No, it's her no, start this you again. You've got one more in you. Stuart started no this on the, uh, just before we go, on the Great North 5K. We were watching it and I said, do you remember when I used to run this quick? And it set Stuart off like, you could, you just choose not to. He hates it. He <laughs> just choose to I just choose to plot. I tried today. I did try. I would say today was probably a strong 70% effort, which is really, really good for me. You know, some, you know, some of those hills I did actually like run and try up. And I would say for the first nine miles, I really gave it a go. Like some of my, my miles were between nine and a half and ten and a half, which for me is good, like really good. And then obviously a few of my miles, the miles near the end were a bit slower, but it's because I was sort of getting in my head and everything like that. And because the rain had stopped... I actually found it worse because it was not raining, but I was soaking wet and my vest was really heavy and I'm quite, I'm, I'm quite chesty. I'll just say it like that. So my, my bra was really weighted down and everything felt really uncomfortable. Um, so it, it's just, you know, the, being, uh, uh, bigger females, not fun. So yeah, it was just that. So it, it was more just I felt a bit grim and wet and um, and all that. And then when I got down the big hill, I just sort of took off again and back on the sort of 10. So for me, that is good, you know. My fastest time at Great North Run is 2.16. So I think today was my third, my fifth run, but I think it was my third fastest. Because I did 218 on the fake route. I was a lot fitter and skinnier then. Um, so I'm really chuffed with that. Um, so yeah. I don't have, but I'm just waffling now, sorry. I've done nearly nine minutes of waffling. I'm going to end this video. <laughs> right. We'll see you on the Rising Sun video. And we'll see you next week at Humber Coastal. Bye. Bye.